God damn it. I'm here at my crib in Chicago. It don't matter. You ain't going to see it because we're going to the mo. You know what I'm saying? I'm that dude. I'm going to put the whole thing in you. You would never touch them if I was there. Never touch them. I mean, what you got to say about that, God? Man, I got I be getting to the bag. I be getting to the bag. Everywhere I go, I blow it, blow it. Stuntin' on them and they know it. I be getting to the bag. I be getting to the bag. Everywhere I go, I blow it, blow it. Stuntin' on them and they know it. Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back for another dope episode of On The Scene. That was my girl's new song. Okay, I get this wrong all the time. It's, it's, it's get, get to the bag. Bag. Or just bag. It's bag. Okay, so that was bag by my executive producer, videographer, editor, C. Snapper, and Sean. I love it. Please make sure you guys go and um, support and follow on all platforms, okay? Spotify, Apple Music, all of it. Well, all of it, okay? <laughs> but anyway, let's let's jump right in. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So tonight we have Chicago Zone actor, comedian, writer, writer, host. Host of his own comedy show. What's the name of the comedy show? It is the Titus Gun Concert Comedy Series. Okay, there you have it. Titus Gun. And my castmate. Right, yeah, that's the yes. first time we met, right. Welcome to On the Scene. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. It is an honor to have you. How are you? Very well, very well. I'm just so excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to have you on here. Thanks. I've been promising him an interview since what last year, <laughs> right? But right. he is always traveling. Yeah. So I get it. Well, I'm glad I can get you on. Yeah. I, I, I am so excited. Um, with the with the show um, now, I am the host of the show. Um, previously, pre pandemic, we had a variety of hosts. More most often it was the the very, very funny Mike Samp, but he's on to bigger and better things. Shout out Much to love to Mike Samp. That's my man. Yes. But now I'm hosting it, and we take the show around the country, okay. and we have uh, local comedians in mm -hmm. whatever city we're in. Okay. And we're just, you know, trying to provide a platform uh, for, for different uh, undiscovered talent. Okay. Um, I was just, just so moved by like the back in the day, the, the Deaf Comedy Jam scene, mm -hmm. what Russell Simmons did for a lot of people. Yes. Now, I'm not on that level, but... Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to try and provide that platform for okay. up and coming artists. Okay, how long have you had that platform? Ooh, uh, <laughs> since uh, 2016. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, the okay. pandemic did us dirty, though. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. okay. but we, we bouncing back, we bouncing back. So now nice. we are in the process of uh, recording a, uh, a a compilation of, of all of the artists and putting it together with a show that's a little different than your, your average comedy show. I don't want to give too much right. away because I don't want people to try and bite my right. idea. Exactly. But yeah, I mean, when it comes out on your, your favorite streaming platform, we will let you know. Okay. Hopefully you'll have me on back again. Of course. Of course. Know. Yeah, just let me know. So so let's back up a little bit. Let, let's let's get to know Titus Gunn. Okay. Before the acting, before the comedian. Let, let, let's get where are you from? West side Chicago. I am West Side. West Side. West Side. Okay. Kansas and Florinoy all day. Um okay. and I mean I just love the city and the surrounding uh, areas, you know, all of the Chicago area, you know, north side, south side. You know, um, 
over east, you know, northwest Indiana even, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, I'm just, you know, just a fan of people. And if, if people want to be positive and, right. you know, converse and, you know, pick my brain and I pick your brain because there's some things I'm still trying to learn, I'm all about it. Now, how long have you been acting? You know what? That's that's a funny um, uh, question because I used to act back in like you know grade school uh -huh. and that sort of thing, but I never really like seriously took it up until after the pandemic because we couldn't really do the comedy shows. Right. So I needed an outlet. You know, I wanted to still express myself in a from an entertainment standpoint. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I. Uh, and uh, did a lot of uh, auditions and things, and uh, the late April Whitaker, rest in peace, and in Chandra peace. Smart uh, Spicer, they discovered me and uh, put me on Undercover Detective on the XOD Network, which is where I met yes. you. Yes. First time we met, magic, magic, uh -huh. magic on yes. the scene, and, yes. and it was great, and I've uh, been doing it ever since, and that's, I think, uh, what, 2021, I think it was. And okay. Been doing it ever since, and I'm loving it. Okay. So, were you doing the comedy first or the acting first? Uh, the comedy shows first. Okay. Yeah. So, how long were you doing the comedy before? I was doing the comedy on and off. Yeah, since about um, 2016. I would, you know what though? I would dabble in it. I would do my own thing. I remember the first time I, I told some jokes, and it was a really, really big guy in the audience. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him about how I was going to titty fuck him and all this other <laughs> type of shit. You know, I mean, you know, okay. it was just jokes, though. Uh -huh. You know, and he had all these different colors on. You mm -hmm. know, so, you know, I kind of spent a little bit too much time on him. Uh -huh. When him and his buddies came to holler at me, you know. <laughs> so, you know. And then back and forth, sometimes I'd be up, sometimes I'd be down. But I've decided to try and make it a platform, you know, for other artists and and we've had some wonderful, wonderful people that you all have heard of mm -hmm. come through and, and get out. T Murph, uh, Just Niche, uh, Stick, like I said, Mike Sam, B Cole, uh, Sheree Lucky. It, it's a whole bunch of others, and I'm sorry if I miss you. We only got so much time, but <laughs> but yeah, and, and it's been incredible meeting these people, working with these people, and like now that I'm in the acting thing, I want to, as you know merge the two together and, mm -hmm. you know and and we're doing that like with the project that I'm currently working on with my man Lennox Blue you're familiar mm -hmm. with Lennox Blue Hustler. yeah <laughs> <laughs> called Wild Cards we're uh, some federal agents and uh, yeah we're unlike anything that's ever been on TV oh, okay. or film yeah it, nice. it's, it, it's crazy I mean it's 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 action and it's comedy and, and it's drama, all of, but it's whatever you've seen, like Bad Boys, Lethal Weapon, and and the, anything like those. Yeah, put that to the side. This is something totally different. Oh wow! Yeah, this oh, is something you're not gonna want to watch with your kids. None of that. <laughs> this is yeah, yeah. This is okay. that. This okay. is that. Okay. Yeah. All right, Ty. So, who would you say um, inspired you? What inspired you to do? Who inspired you to do comedy? Um, was somebody in the family? You know what? Um, just, just as far as being an entertainer, um, like I, I, I really like like the old school guys, like you know Eddie Murphy, Michael Jackson, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like my cousin Simeon Henderson, mm -hmm. I know you know him. Yeah, that's my man. Simbo. Yeah, I mean we that's like, I mean we're Chicago. by blood we cousins, but. We we like we were raised like brothers, so we brothers, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? And you know, it was my big cousin, you know, Michael, I just follow him. Another one though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, Deron Powell, yeah, yeah that's we my had man him too, on, yeah. I reached out to him for a follow-up. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, he's out in California doing yeah. this thing. And so, you know, like with, with those, you know, inspirations in the family, you see them, you see the strides they're making and, you know, I don't know, I guess, it, I don't know if it's in the blood and, you know, but. It, and, Gotta be. <laughs> and I'm right on with them. So, you know, and we're working on some projects together. 2024 is going to be bananas. Um, okay. By the, from, from Valentine's Day to New Year's, we just, I mean, running. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole time. So, okay. looking forward to it. Okay. And you're also doing a lot of traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was funny, like, when, the, when everybody was all masked up and everything and 
who is traveling. It, it is it's very different in the north and in the south. Because, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in the south, big love to the south. But they don't give a, they didn't give a fuck about COVID. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they really didn't. They, uh -huh. In the north, it was different. Everybody had their masks and walking around like church mice and shit. Not them. They didn't give a fuck. This my fucking right. They don't have to wear a fucking mask. I mean, they, they talking to the to airport people and shit. Yeah. You know, black folks. When I I don't know me y'all, but when I see the police, I act I'm I'm, I'm fucking a slave and shit. Y'all so, so you know what I'm saying? But them they don't give a fuck. They just you know it is how it is, and hey, you gotta respect that. So, mm -hmm. but that's what I'm I'm trying to you know to stay busy and stay positive and, and, and incorporate as many. Uh, outlets as I can. Right. Yeah, right. So. Have you worked with um, Deron and Simeon and I? Actually, uh, Simeon and I are in a couple projects. Uh, okay. Actually, September 2nd. Okay. Uh, I'm the set supervisor on a movie that Simeon is a star of with uh, Darren DeWitt uh, Hinton. Okay. You all know him from Soul Food and Family business and stomp the yard. Stomp the yard. I mean, I admit that. And he, this dude is a, a wonderful actor. He's a teacher. This dude is amazing because he knows everybody's lines. But he not even not to the point where he's like criticizing. Tell, he's like he's like telling you. You know, he he's giving you game mm -hmm. that he, he could be selling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like you know you know I'm from out west. You know uh, why tell it when you can sell it? You know he's not, but he's not like that. He uh -huh. he's like really putting you up on you know up on everything, and directed by Quincy J. Trent, and and that's the team we got over there. Red on black, very good. Everybody's over there. It's fabulous. September second uh, till death do us. It's on Peacock, so okay. check that out. And also, if I may, yeah. September fifteenth uh -huh. on Amazon Prime. Uh, with Maurice Ellaby Jones Jr., mm -hmm. fabulous director, him and Chandra Smart Spicer. Um, substantial evidence. I play a lawyer, okay. uh, dirty lawyer, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, District Attorney Nelson, and that September fifteenth on Amazon Prime. Check that out too, All please. Right. Shout out, guys! Please make sure you go and support. Yeah, please. Yeah, I mean, and then if you even uh, you know, and then the comedy shows will be coming back soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, here in Chicago, in, in addition to the ones we're filming, and then we're going to put that on the, one of the platforms also. So, yeah, please, please keep supporting. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you all. I really absolutely, appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, give me one of your most memorable shows, comedy shows. Who, who was there? Um, I, we were in Portland, Oregon. Okay. I was hosting... And I was bombing. The thing was, the thing, and, and listen, I, I'll take the L for that. You know, sometimes you own, sometimes you off. Mm -hmm. Even LeBron and Mike don't hit all the shots. I get it. That's cool. But I'm going to blame it on the fact that all drugs are legal in the state of Oregon. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I mean, I'm like, all these motherfuckers ain't funny. But, yeah, all these motherfuckers weren't funny. Uh -huh. And it was just, it was cool, you know. I mean, it is what it is. But just the look on everybody's face, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, they looking at you, you looking at them. And you have those type of nights, and, and that's great. And, you know, but uh -huh. yeah, it is what it is. But that was, you know, that was... Um, yeah, that was. Uh, it was there. Yeah, it was there. It was just look at, just looking at all the crowds, a couple hundred people, and you just looking around mm -hmm. like, all right, coming to the stage then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody bailed me out this month. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it, it was really good. And it would mean it was a good experience, you know, because mm -hmm. you had your ups and your downs. Right. I mean, and that's a, and that's a thing that I tell like a lot of the younger guys and girls coming up. Especially with this, with this age, of everybody get a trophy. Shit, come on, man. Everybody not a winner. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? You came in second. You the first loser, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> that's just what that is. So okay. go back, study your shit, and bring it back even harder next time. And and that's that's a good lesson to learn. No matter where you go, how much you do, you know, you always you know need to strive harder, right. work harder, you know, tighten up, you know, and come back stronger the next time. So maybe next time I go to Portland, I'll have crack at the door, and then maybe you know, <laughs> fucking find me funny, maybe a little mad, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so that brings me to my next question. What do you do to prepare for a comedy show? Um, I like silence, to okay. me if that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. I have to, like, get into it, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause because I'm the the producer the the you know I wear so many hats at the you know at the place you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying a lot of people coming up to me you know right before it and you know mm -hmm. how about this and what about this mm -hmm. fucking yeah you know what I'm saying right. I, yeah I'm, I I need to focus you know what I'm saying give me a little Hennessy uh -huh. you know what I'm saying <laughs> and and I'm good you know and and we'll go from there but for the most part. Yeah, I just need I just need like 10, 15 minutes and you know and some Hennessy and you know and, and I'll be all right. Okay. You know, but for the most part, you know, everything has been good though. It's been up, it's been down. That pandemic though, that was a motherfucker. It sure was. Man, how was it for you? Me crazy. Right, I know everybody sitting in the house. Yeah, because I'm an extrovert, so I like to be out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, with Not nobody being, out. Yeah, man, it was like. Man. Like, man, that shit was crazy. That's how I got on to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do everybody got on to TikTok. <laughs> trying to do... Okay. <laughs> everybody doing the same fucking dance. <laughs> like, like, how exactly. many times everybody just right. got them dance? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. You know what? Hey, this, this is a good outlet. But you see, they banned it in a few states yep. now. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to get rid of it completely. Yeah. See, I'm, see I'm Chinese folks, you know, mm -hmm. hey. Hey, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, offend nobody. Mm -hmm. Y'all good for making the phones and shit, but we can't, you know, <laughs> right. put exactly. your little 10-year-olds and shit to exactly. work. Exactly. Make me some Jordans, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know. All right, Titus, give me your top three tips, advice that you would give to any young youth out there trying to say, I want to be like Titus. I want to be a comedian. I want to be an actor. What advice would you give? Don't quit. There you go. Man, don't quit. That's a big one. Like, because I'm telling you this so many times that I want to be like, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, you just got to keep going. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if what the way you're doing it mm -hmm. isn't working, try a different, a different way. way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, like it's an old saying, but it's true. It's more than one way to skin a cat, you know. Right. So, with that being said, you know, try something different. To network, because mm -hmm. we yeah. already know a lot of times it ain't what you know. It's who it's you know. Who you know. Exactly. Man, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Man, mm -hmm. And you know, don't be afraid of the casting cat. <laughs> Don't be afraid to do something strange. <laughs> that's the part. That's why I ain't blew up yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The cast and cast. That's why I ain't blew up yet. Yeah. If you guys are actors, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> right. Cast the couch. But those of you who don't know, it's when somebody who's in a position to make shit move for you. Want you to provide a sexual favor. <laughs> now, unfortunately, there's not enough women in those positions. And see, and you know, move how you want to move, but this is do not interact. So, and I ain't sucking no dick. I see why some of y'all women don't do it, because I have to do it. But, you know, that's. <laughs> but yeah, don't be afraid to cast the couch. Uh, Either network, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, you know, <laughs> little protein. That's for what I hear is good for your skin. Uh, you know? yeah. Oh man, you got me with that. Everybody, come on, man. Everybody got them stories. You know, you been on Instagram and all that shit. You done heard them mm -hmm. stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. not gonna name names and yeah. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. but don't quit. Try something That's a different. Big one. Never give don't up. Some, try to do something different. But right. try another you know one. what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But get right. that shit right and fall wrong. You know what I'm talking about? But, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. Give me 
see your top five um, comedians that you would like to work with or have worked with that are alive. Oh, okay. I was just about to say that. So, mm-hmm. alive? Yeah, alive, dead or alive. Oh, okay, dead or alive. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was just about to say, we got to start digging niggas up. Um, I would love to do something with uh, Eddie Murphy, only because, and I don't know if y'all can see this up here, you know what I'm saying, I don't know what the, the view is, but I like to dress up, too, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, <laughs> I some people cold. role play and whatever, whatever. For me, that's just Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? There it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, shit, I, I, I don't know what, what the fuck I was thinking. I'm just pulling out masks on y'all ass. I got <laughs> Black Panther, Spider-Man, I got wigs, whatever turn you on, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. uh, Richard Pryor, okay. Dave Chappelle, of course. Yes. Um, He's coming here. Yeah. October. Yeah. Did you see the price of them tickets, though? No. Oh, shit. Oh, I won't be seeing Dave Chappelle. I'm still Chappelle. going. October 7th. See, well, yeah, you rich. You know oh, please. <laughs> no, these weren't, these weren't too bad. These were, I okay. think, like, 175 wasn't bad. Oh, no, okay, yeah. okay, no. I was, I was yeah, because at first I was, I was they like, were. I say tickets. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, if you want to, as you, if you get close to the stage, yeah. I was going to be out there on Madison and shit <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Um, and then, you know, uh, Bernie Mac, shot oh, town. Oh, yes, Man, yes. got to love Bernie Mac and Robin Harris, shot town. There you go. You know, but yeah. Um, okay. I'm just a fan. I'm a fan of a lot of people. You know, I listen to a lot of different people. Mm-hmm. Now, out of the the ones that are like, did you ever meet? Ever get a chance to meet Dave Chappelle? No. 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 I, I I hope to. That's 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 okay. on the list. That's on the list. Okay. I want to work with a lot of these cats. You know, okay. especially now that I'm like really deep mm-hmm. into the acting thing now. Mm-hmm. So you know, because I know a lot of comedians. That's their end game to you know, become actors or whatever, because the, the road can be difficult mm-hmm. and, and lonely and mm-hmm. and all type of shit, especially when you're rolling through the South. Mm-hmm. You roll through those cities where, you know, and, and you know, and it fucked me up when you go to certain places. We went to Providence, Rhode Island, uh-huh. where it, it's not that many black people. You like, you, I mean, it just fucked me up because like you get certain people that have only seen black people on TV. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they come up to you and they're like, <laughs> you know, oh, you know, wow. but it is what it is. I mean, they have a lot of like foreign blacks, but not like, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, American, you, mm-hmm. know, you know, but it, and it's something. And, and, and you got to think about it though, because like we only like 10, 12% of the population. So when you go to places like Montana and South Dakota, and mm-hmm. not with, I love going to them type places and shit. Mm-hmm. Like we real, you know, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 just exposing to them that not, not all of the stereotypes are real. You got to let them know though. I will bust you in your ass. Mm-hmm. You know, you come, you know, bogus, but, <laughs> right? Um, but it, it, it's something to see, and and it is good because. And a lot of people need to know that there's more to life than just my block. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that, uh, as American blacks, I think that's something that a lot of us uh, fall victim to. We just become my block, my street. Uh, yeah. You can be, there's some people grown as hell, ain't never been downtown Chicago and been living here their whole damn life. True. The fuck? Nigga, it's two dollars. Get your ass on the train <laughs> and go down there. You know what I'm saying? True. But we got to get out of that, you know what I'm saying, that mindset uh-huh. that, you know, and just have a world view of things. Mm-hmm. And that's what I, you know, want to try and bring to people, you know, not just laughter, but education and, right. as well as entertainment. So, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, now yeah. let's switch to the acting side. Give me your top three actors. Oh, man. Uh, let's say dead or alive. Well, you got to say dead. Okay. Yeah. You know yep. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sam Samuel L. Jackson, yeah. cause a lot of people ain't up on Sam Jackson. Yeah. Sam Jackson been in more movies than anybody. Mm-hmm. Period. Oh, yeah. He's such a dope. Ass. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. The man started in his forties, mm-hmm. and and just you know as a crackhead and mm-hmm. just been rolling ever since. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he played everything, and he plays it well. Yes. And see, anyway. so like yeah, so like a lot of times like. With the roles that I I get, I'm I'm open to a lot of stuff too. Mm-hmm. But I, I try and play like different characters. 
like uh, in Weapons of Warfare, um, that's coming out on Peacock at mm -hmm. the end of the year. Um, I play a guy who's like, I'm a thug, but he's a... Uh, um, Developmentally disabled a little oh, bit, okay. so he, and you know, uh -huh. I, it's a lot of that, and then it's good because it, it gives you uh, ability to stretch, and mm -hmm. you know, oh yeah. And then uh, another movie, uh, One Eight Hundred Missing. I play a guy who's uh, fed up with the the wife leaving him, and mm -hmm. with child support payments. So I, I come to take my kid, and I uh, from the from the school and. And the police come to get me out because I'm boarded up in there and, and I'm fighting with the police. And, you know, wow. so it's, yeah, so it, it's a lot, but I like that type of stuff because mm -hmm. it, it gives you opportunity to stretch. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, it gives you some, you know. And like like I say, I'm a guy that like to dress up anyway, so right. I'm going to play any, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And, yeah, I, I enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, you do it well. I appreciate it. <laughs> right, right. No, you did when you came with that Jamaican accent messed me up. I was like, <laughs> and that was the first. That was the very first um, project that that I ever. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I had always wanted to. Me too. That Speaking was my, my first Jamaican time too. podcast. So she was like, "Yeah, let's see how it goes." That was, yeah. It was funny. That was. It was for those of you who don't. And know, you still owe me. Yeah, I know, right? How much did you owe me? I know her. For those who don't know, the backstory behind this character is, um, well, did I care to sleep together? I can't remember. But in any case, I stole the link card from her while she was asleep. Yes. I was sleeping with her sister. That's what it was. I was That's sleeping with her was. sister, mm -hmm. and and while everybody was asleep, I stole her link card, and they came back to punt me for it. But I'm, but I was, but my, I'm an FBI agent, so I'm going around sleeping with chicks. Still their link cards. Let me tell you, that's the type of nigga that is. You know what I'm saying? But and that was a that was a lot of fun. And, it was. But but like you say, it was like magic. And then something and that's another thing I like, that that vibration, that chemistry, that magic, that bounce. You know what I'm saying? It's like certain people you can just get with and it's magic right. instantly. You know what I'm saying? You can see it on the tape, you know, on mm -hmm. the film when you're watching it. Even if the movie and that one wasn't, it's on XOD Network. But even if the the project is trash, you can still like okay, that's well acted, well performed, right, right. and that's what you know. So right. that's why I try and leave with you know, leave a part of myself into it and expand and and, and grow with it. And I love it. I love it. I, it was fun. I yeah, was fun. I love it. You got me cracking up. <laughs> I love it. It was, it was a ball. Yeah, it was fun. It was funny. That's amazing. Well, I congratulate you. I salute you. Um, you definitely got to keep me updated Man. and posted on what's coming coming up you know i definitely have to come check out one of those comedy shows right definitely and if I'm not uh, mistaken man, uh, as I spoke to Lennox Blue uh, you will be partaking in uh, Wild Cards the movie okay okay playing the nurse the nurse Marvin the nurse right awesome thank so, you yeah I thank appreciate you, you having who's, me thank you so much who's the director much. who's the writer uh, Lennox and I right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Lennox. Hustler, I told you. <laughs> I know, right? Hustler in all caps. I know, right? Yeah, Try to be like him. Everything is great. So hopefully, like, you know, when it about the air, he and I come on and we could, you know, have a trailer and everything for you and okay. do it. Yeah. Definitely. I, I really yeah. appreciate you having me. I, it's an honor to have you. Man. I can promise you since last year. So Thank you so much. When I, I tell really you I'm going to get you on, I'm going to get you on. You. I appreciate it. Thank definitely, you. Definitely, definitely. And, of course, he is already the on the scene director. Man, I'm on the scene. Yummy. Okay. Yeah, and it yeah. looks good on you. Thank you. Get yours. Exactly. Where your damn shirt at? <laughs> like what he said. Okay. Get, get your, your on the scene t-shirt. Get you a shirt. Okay. But yeah, you definitely gotta come back and follow up. Keep Thank me posted. You, really you know, on the scene, we'll definitely try and come out. I try and get to as many people's stuff as I can, Thank but I'm only one person. So yeah, please tell everybody where they can find you, your social media handles. I am Titus Gunn. It's just Titus Gunn, my name. T I T U S G U N N. Ain't no other one. It's just me. So if you type in Titus Gunn, and you see a black dude, yeah, that's me. If it ain't no black dude, it ain't me. <laughs> Correct. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So, Facebook, Titus Gun. Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, X, whatever the hell they call it. Okay. Well, any any TikTok. platform. TikTok. Okay. 
tightest gun. That's it. Because okay. it ain't no other. It's just me. Okay. So if it ain't no black dude, it's, it's fake. It's me. Ain't no other tightest gun. Okay. You, you will never meet enough tightest gun. It's there just me. There you have it. So if, if other comedians like want to reach out to you and stuff, just... Tightest gun. Okay. At tightest gun at yahoo.com. Oh, there you go. Hit them up, y'all. Thank you. I want to thank you so much. Thanks for having me. For gracing really my platform. We'll definitely have you back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Definitely, so definitely. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with another interview. Peace. Hey.